Hi. I'm going to talk about which came first obesity, depression or sleep apnea. Which came first obesity, depression or sleep apnea? It's like the old argument, which came first? The chicken or the egg? Major new research is reporting the effect of sleep apnea on depression and obesity. Studies are reporting that the three tend to feed off each other in a vicious, self-destructive loop. Research is pointing to the relationship between lack of adequate sleep and depression, which in turn causes obesity. We are all aware how the lack of a good night's sleep affects our health, moods and sense of well-being. Research is showing that treating the sleep apnea with CPAP, can treat depression as well. CPAP stands for Continuous Positive Airway Pressure System. The research reports that sleep apnea is a widely undiagnosed illness. New research is suggesting that the effects of sleep apnea may simply be misdiagnosed as depression. Obesity is a form of self-medication to treat our depression that may be due to our lack of adequate deep sleep. This is an important discovery because there are few effective tools to treat depression and obesity. The good news is that there are many more proven procedures to reduce sleep apnea than for depression and obesity. Most of us aren't aware that we suffer from sleep apnea. We wake up with migraine headaches or feel exhausted after a night's sleep. We feel fatigued, tired or sleepy during the course of the day. Most often it is our bed partner that tells us we snore or stop breathing during the night. Carbon dioxide builds up in our bloodstream when we stop breathing. Chemo receptors in the bloodstream detect the high CO2 levels triggering the brain to force the sleeper to take a breath. A stoppage in sleep inhibits sustained periods of deep sleep which is essential to our health. Have your doctor refer you to a sleep lab to diagnose your sleep patterns. A sleep lab is equipped with instruments to measure your breathing and movements, but looks like a normal bedroom. During the sleep study, a sleep technician will collect essential information from an observation room. This will provide you with privacy and comfort. While in the sleep study, electrodes will be attached to your head and face. We assure you, you will fall asleep even with the attached monitors while sleeping on a strange bed. The electrodes are not uncomfortable and are essential to diagnose sleep apnea and other sleep related issues. This test called a polysomnogram and will determine if you have obstructive sleep apnea. This is truly great news for all us suffering from depression and obesity with the discovery that sleep apnea may be the cause of both. Physicians may now have an additional tool to treat depression and obesity in addition to the use of antidepressants. This may be the weight loss cure you were waiting for. Please subscribe and share this new information with everyone on your email list. Spread the news. Please like us on facebook.com slash Saturday Diet. Go to saturdaydiet.com for more important information. Thanks for watching.
Thanks for watching. Please see my link in description for more information. Bye.